guys, I'm in Downers Grove, Illinois, Chicago land area. I'm by the new premium school of Gracie Barra over here in Illinois. And today I have a very special guest to talk to you guys. Come with me. He's a guy, amazing, amazing martial artist, very nice guy. We'll be talking a lot about UFC. Hello everyone. Hey. hey, how are you, Jamil? Hey, how are you doing? Nice to see you, man. Good to see you. Mr. Joe Gautia. Thanks for coming. Oh my God, I can't believe you're in our school. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. It's a honor to have you here in our Gracie Barra School. Thank you, Downers, me. Illinois. Mr. Gautia, many people they don't know. And uh, he's a shy guy. He never tells that to anyone. I have, I, I know Joe for a good couple of years from now, and I have to find that by myself. This guy is one of the greatest martial artists in the Middle West, if not the greatest. You know, he's a great coach, great instructor. You know, been helping me a lot with my MMA. Like, we exchange a lot of ideas. And uh, he trains Jiu Jitsu with me. His lineage goes straight back to Hanzo Gracie. He's a pure Gracie Barra guy. Uh, and also a, a ma an amazing Jet Kundo instructor. Uh, many people they don't know, but Joe is the trainer the MMA trainer of Matt Hughes, the first one to train Matt Hughes, or one of the first ones, is the first one to, to, to get Pat Militich in the cage. He trained Pat, he trained Matt. He's one of the first trainers of Miguel Torres. Miguel trained uh, uh, with Joe a, a lot of MMA early in his career for more than a year, and, but he doesn't tell that to anyone. He trained uh, the greatest of the Midwest, he trained many others, but today we're gonna be talking about something very interesting the belt system, the inflation of the belt system. So let me get changed because I want to talk to you on the message. I'll see you back in a few minutes. Thank you. Greg. To talk to you guys about the inflation of the belt system, the inflation of the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu belt system, the belt chasers, the imposters. So I want to have, have uh, Joe's opinion since he comes from since he represents a non-traditional uh, martial art system, uh, Joe, what's your opinion about about this whole thing with people getting black belts here and there? And what uh, do you think about that? Basically, it's this: uh, for a, for a black belt to mean anything, it has to be earned. You, that means you have to put the time on the mat. You have to you have to do the spar. You have to you have to have an understanding. And what's basically happened, especially now, I, think, I believe here in the United States very primarily, is that there is, like you said, the belt chasing. It's become just this big, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, this big thing where people just after the rank, but not after the knowledge. The knowledge is what, what makes you, your belt a darker color. You know, if, there is, if there's no knowledge, why do you even want it? Um, I, I look at it this way. You, might, you can go to any martial arts supply store and buy a black belt. That doesn't mean you are a black belt. So in order for somebody to really, you really have to put the time in. You have to put, you have to put the dedication because it really means nothing. It cheapens it so much. I, fe I felt, to be honest with you, in a much more comfortable position in the past when I was a blue belt, when I was a purple belt, even when I was a brown belt because I don't have the responsibility to T t that the black belt wants to carry not only uh, uh, his efficiency, but also the way he carries himself around, uh, the way he influences people. You know, I, I think that is a phen phen uh, phenomenon happening in this country right now, which is the blind leading the blind. People with no lineage, with no real skills, or with no real martial arts, Gracie Jiu Jitsu philosophy, they're selling belts uh, right and left out there. And what you're creating is blind people, which will create even more blind people. Exactly. It's a shame. You know, what do you think about it, Joe? It's exactly that. Um, see, me being a, uh, a Jeet Kune Do practitioner or instructor, uh, we don't use a belt system. However, we do, many Jeet Kune Do practitioners, we have a phases, which essentially is very similar in, in some respects, uh, as far as you know, your, your progression in the, in the art. Um, so 
We have the problem in, in a similar way. Now it's a certificate, whether it be an apprentice instructorship, uh, associate or full instructorship. And again, now it's almost become our, our black belt. Now everybody's chasing for that. But again, Something it's originally they started with like no belt through exactly, now it's yeah. turning into yeah. like a, it, it's 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 a ma again it's the knowledge it's the knowledge of the art one of the things that we've discussed before is I always say I have no problem when I train another martial art as being a Jeet Kune Do instructor I love training with everybody or with at least people that you know that I feel I can learn something from I have no problem putting on a white belt or whatever beginner rank there is. Because I love the white belt mentality. Because you, you have that freedom to make a mistake and to learn and to do things. It seems like when people start growing in their, in their rank, now they're afraid to take risk. They're afraid because now it's like, oh, wait, wait. It becomes more of an ego. Because now, wait, I can't let them see me in a vulnerable position. Where when you're a white belt, hey, you, you don't have that responsibility. Exactly, you don't have that So you're like, okay, hey. So you can the learn. The beginner's mind, right? The beginner's mind. You can learn. You, you, you're free to learn, and you don't have that. There's no great expectation of you other than the expectation of yourself. But as you grow in the art, or you, as you get more responsibility, I should say, now all of a sudden, that's where the ego, and now all of a sudden, you're afraid. You're like, well, I don't know if I should do that because I don't want to look bad. So now the learning process changes. So now you're not learning anymore. You're more guarding what you have. Yeah, like, like the way I see it, it's like I, I feel more the responsibility as a black belt and as an educator than, than actually as a fighter. I, you know, I think the jiu-jitsu, it's like an endless, like martial arts in general, you, you have an endless learning process, you know, which starts when you first step on the mat and which ends when you close your mind and you say, I know everything, or I don't, I don't need to learn anymore. You know, I think if you keep your open mind, if you keep like your beginner mind, you can transcend the actual, the actual limitations because there are no boundaries, there are no limitations. Sure. You know, it's, everything is over here. But what uh, intrigues me, and it's really funny too, have you heard of the intensive on-air course that people, they take in Brazil? <laughs> Yeah, here is, here is what it is, guys. You get in an airplane in Brazil, okay? And you are a blue belt. By the time you land over here, you have a black belt on your waist, and you claim to be a jiu-jitsu master, and, it's, and there are people uh, teaching out there that they really, they left our countries are, uh, as blue belts. You know, that's because, <laughs> I don't know, man, it's, it's people, they, they do the, the craziest things. And, and also the guys around here that I see, they, they're completely out of shape. They, they don't know what's going on. And next thing I know, I, I'm hearing, this guy got a black belt, that guy got a, <laughs> it's amazing, you know. Uh, I, I, my, I, I would really recommend, if you're going to join Jiu Jitsu school, first, find where your teacher comes from, find his background, find his lineage. I think that's with anything in life any martial arts, any background. If you go to a doctor, don't you want to research your doctor's past? Don't you want to see where he graduated? Don't you want to see what, uh, what are his qualifications to, to look after you or your child? You should do the same thing with a jiu-jitsu martial arts or with any martial arts school because it's a big responsibility. You know? You're putting yourself in someone's hands that you don't know what that person came from and if the person got the qualifications to teach you, to form you as an individual, but also to, to preserve your physical integrity. You know, sure. It's a serious yeah, thing. Very important. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it, it goes in so many ways. I mean, uh, there's a saying, martial arts without morality is a dangerous thing. If you, there's no morality in what you're teaching and what you're doing, it, it's, it could be very dangerous. So that, that is, that is uh, very important. And obviously, you know, having integrity, about what you're teaching and, and you're showing and about yourself. I mean, you know, to have a rank that you know that you don't deserve or putting a, it, it makes, it re really makes no sense. I, I as I said earlier, uh, I would rather be a lower rank knowing I, or when people think I really should be a higher rank than of being a higher rank and knowing you're really not Capable of you know what Master Carlos used to do in Brazil? That's a funny thing. 
if anyone would ever ask him, hey, Master Carlos, well, I think I'm due for my belt, man. <laughs> that would be the worst mistake you would commit in your life. <laughs> I've seen guys, uh, uh, just because they asked that question, they're left like another three years or so. So some of them, like seven years on the same belt, just for this very last, uh, the, the very uh, question. They're left on their same belt because they asked uh, like a stupid question like that, where is my belt? Your teacher knows when you're ready. You don't need to ask, you don't need to chase for that. O over here sometimes like uh, I see students of mine, they come and they ask me, hey, where is my belt? Where is my stripe? And I say, you're not ready yet. They feel like they don't need to train anymore. They leave the school and they go to somewhere else to where they can earn their belt quicker. But good luck with that. Uh, over here, it's not about like changing the color of the belt you, you're wearing, my friend. It's about learning through martial arts. Learning the principle of Gracie Barra Jiu Jitsu, learning our history, our philosophy. There's a big, beautiful culture behind that too, you know. I don't think people should be so concerned about belts. You know, I'm not a blind man and I don't want to form no blind people. You know? Uh, it's like the matrix, you know, you get the immediate uh, 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 <laughs> of the matrix being, yeah, like, uh, uh, it's amazing. They, they think they will, because they change the color of their belt, they, they will, all of a sudden they will turn into superheroes and they will be the, performing all the, the, the latest jujitsu moves. It's not about that. It's a slow process of maturity and understanding, you know, the, 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 the legend of the black belt, do you, do you know, have you yeah, heard of that? It's, it's dirty white belt. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. It's, very true. It's, it's like years and years of having that belt. One man entered on the mats and he has a white belt. And with the time of training, sweating, uh, wearing that belt, that belt became gray and gray became brown and eventually brown became black. That's, that's the legend of the black belt and it's the true meaning. It's wearing that with pride, dedication and putting the time on the mats. That's what's gonna turn you into a real martial artist. Poor Joe, thank you very, very much thank for your visit. You. I know there, there will be very exciting things. We, we have many projects together. There are things to come to both of us, to our schools as well. So definitely we're gonna be working more and more things together. I think that was a very, uh, good insight to, to our students and friends on, on, on YouTube about, about belts, belt system. Uh, we'll have more videos together, we'll have more things to do together. Stay tuned because you'll be surprised what I and Joe putting up in place. Okay guys, thank you very much. Thank you for watching us. Stay tuned. Grace Barra, Jiu Jitsu for everyone. Joe, thanks for your visit. Thank you so much.